Hey there everyone, so I was gonna put up a video on Sunday and what happened was OBS had an update, which is I guess nice because it actually did solve an issue. But by updating, it did something weird and it actually like, the weird thing was it froze a picture of what I guess I started filming as and then everything after that it recorded my mouse movement and the noise but it just stayed frozen on that one picture. So obviously I lost like, I don't know, 35 out of my 45 minutes, so I couldn't upload that. Pretty frustrated about that, but not much I can really do, so we have to move on. So what happened, so you're not out in the dark on that, I did do the Necromancer Veteran actually, and I just did another Medium Dungeon, and I upgraded my roster to 29 people instead of 26. So that's pretty much all that happened. I believe I have a max roster now. And we're actually going to do another, probably, dungeon here. Veteran. I'm not going to do the Siren. Well, no, I need to get the uh, Antiquarium up. I'm not doing long. Am I really doing a medium? I guess I can do a short weld. Both are in the weld. I need probably portraits. So two. What trinket is that? Yeah, we'll get two portraits. I am getting most of my people up, as you see here, I am trying to pretty much with- Oh, whoa, 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 what am I doing? These are level twos. Oh, gosh. I do want to get those twos up, but I'm not doing a long dungeon. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm not doing a long dungeon. So, we are going to take some people into a short weld. Uh, we'll take Corbett here. We will make him a repost guy. Taking a leper, we'll make sure his skills and armor are good. Taking a houndmaster. And I'm definitely going to need some heals. But I don't really want to use a Vestal. But how many do I got? One. I should have two. Oh, she's in there. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll take in a plague doctor, move him forward. It's gonna be a weird party. I'm not, heh, not exactly the most comfortable with the party, but it's gonna have to work. Yeah, it's gonna have to work. Like I said, not the most comfortable, but once again, not an extreme amount of choices sometimes. There we go, there's that. Gonna just blow through money as I always do. That's all they she really needs. Uh but Billy Club and who else is in there? Ah yes you. Wicked slice. Alright, almost out of money. Just need the gun. Can I sell any trinkets? Mm, yeah, we can sell that. And that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be... Man, we're gonna be penny pitching for a while here. It's gonna be... Oops. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty tight on money for a while. So... Uh, yeah, one more. I probably don't need three for explorer. That was probably overkill. But on the off chance, I get just utterly screwed, and there is actually three shovel curios. I don't want to deal with, deal with it. I knew all these Everything needs to go right. So there's one, but fortunately we did get a scout, so we can. I got important now. See, I can take two shovel curios and avoid three fights, but I do need money. And why would I avoid... Oh, wow, map. Nice. Just so I'm going to let that bad boy scout out before I go on. So I'm only looking at a potential... Wow, the whole dungeon. I have four fights this dungeon. Excellent. And this is one of them. There we go. That scout was huge. I mean, I don't know what else to say. That, that was just crucially needed. And the reason why that... You resisted, really? Frickin' really? Yeah? Yeah, you wanna do that crap? You wanna resist? 
Uh, I can potentially end this as a grape shot. And I did. Nice. Yeah, I mean, the reason why that scout was crucial. Obviously, scouting the whole dungeon with one map. Phenomenal. Now I can... Well, I mean, I really wasn't going to be able to avoid anything. But now I know there's no fights after this. So, oh my gosh, all these are easy. So, this is going to be the quickest resolve in money of my life. And also an extreme, extreme waste of resources. So, that's kind of sad because I definitely prepared way, 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 way more than I had to. But... You, how are you supposed to guess you're going to walk into a dungeon It's going to have nothing? I mean, that's... I am going to try to explore most of this dungeon with the torch off. Right about... Probably after that fight. I don't want to see. I mean, I do need to make some money. I might even turn off the light here or take the next fight in pitch black. I'll tell you what, I'll, I won't take it. We'll see. I don't think I want to do it yet. I think I'll turn off the fight. I mean, I'll turn off the torch for this fight. Yeah, that's why I was feeling it. There might be that one hard fight in here. And this is certainly going to be a hard one. We're going to try to kill the dogs. Uh, they, I know that blight resist. Oh, I guess that is one. Do, 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 do. 110, yeah, okay. They have 80, yeah. Plague Doctor, I mean, it's not the greatest thing in the world. I probably should have stunned instead. But I was thinking I could get cheeky, maybe one blight off. But I... I kind of forgot right now I don't have like trinkets on that are going to be increasing the uh, blight chance. So I really shouldn't have expected that blight. That's something you can do later in the game. When you can get... Ah, oh, it's, it's a howl. Ah, shit. Thank goodness only applied to like half of us. Um, the reason why howl's annoying is because we don't have anyone who can really take that away. So we are going to try to stun him. And the stun's an okay chance. Yeah, so it's like, I think it was a 50%. Which is good, and uh, I need to hit this dog. Nope. That was my cell phone. All right, and we're actually gonna dog bone because it's gonna be our, you know, second to last fight. So we might as well just get some damage in there. Uh, I don't need a bandage or anything, and I don't want to solve an enmity either. So I think we're gonna close this off. See if we can't get a. Oop, that's a dodge. Oh, please don't go. Okay. Uh, seven. If someone else gets to go, I'll get to kill him. Maybe? No. Nah, he's gonna get one more turn. Ten. Ten damage, one HP. Oh, we got to him. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the most accurate skill to make sure I hit him. That was really fortunate RNG to hit. And there's a decent chunk of money right there. So that's really nice. Uh, I'm not gonna turn on the torch yet. I'm actually gonna head over to this Curio, because, uh... A, I... Well, I don't have to, I guess. Um... But there is something over here. And since I actually know there's no other shovel curios, and I'm not going to... Oh, it's a... Really? It's a torch curio? Since I know there's no other shovel curios, I can actually take my time, just kind of do this weird square, hope this is a decent... It's a... Let's hope for heirlooms. I hate empty crates. I hate them, man. It's such... Blech. I'm not going to eat food. Um, because I'm probably going to get a food check here, maybe there, depending on how unlucky I am. And I still need, I still need to explore this branch. And also, after I take this fight, there's no way to damage me. And also, the only person who's severely, not severely hurt, but who has the most HP missing does have this wonderful ability called Solemnity, which will give me 9 HP, which is pretty darn good. Yep, and I'm not going to turn the torch on until I'm right outside that room. Then I'll turn the torch off for this fight as well. And like I said, I expected one food check to be right there. And let's hope for some mad money. The trinket's fine, actually. Uh, does it? What is it minus? Nothing? Might as well. He, he has healing skill. Torch on. I'll just pop on holy water just in case he gets like attacked with a little blight or bleed just so he can resist. And right here would be an excellent blight and bleeders. We do have an invisible person with a blight chances. Eh, I think I'm just gonna go for the stun since it's 130%. That should say that should be a pretty darn good chance. Actually, 100% chance. We are gonna dog bone. We're gonna hounds Harry to mess up everyone. I do want to focus the fungal battery first. And I, er, it's a tough one because if I shoot it, it's not really going to kill it, but I might just repose just in case someone attacks. This will have to be a second round of Hound's Harry, and I am just going to pick the one guy hurt more 
we want to chip down the one that's closer down. Now the reason why I'm not too worried about because I guess in a way I technically broke my rule. Where ooh, excellent. I don't ever like getting a surprise and not killing anybody, but I did stun two people and I got a repost up. So I'm actually pretty happy with that surprise round because really I only had about one person get hit. Therefore, I'll definitely take that one person only being hit and they're only going to go about maybe four times, I mean five times in a row instead of a full seven to eight because my party also has decent speeds. And now this guy is visible, and I don't think I'm going to be able to kill everyone off directly. I'm not going to. I just didn't want to kill everyone off right away and, uh, you know, not get a chance to close that torch out. But pretty much from here on out, I'm going to close this torch out and call it a day. Uh, he'll probably get to go before the leper. He did resist, but... Mm -hmm. I'm just going to heal. Because, uh, yeah, I'm just going to let him tick out once, and I'm going to turn off the torch. I figured he's going to be the one getting attacked, and I just want to replace some of his HP. With the Blight resistance up, there's probably no way he was going to get a, uh... Oops, didn't want to Hounds Harry, it's fine. Oh, uh, this fight's over. Was a misclick, though, I didn't want to add more Blight. I, uh, pretty much had him dead to rights here. That nah, probably give him a bleed. I mean, Blight, yep, and eh, he's done. I uh, say, so, yeah, I was just going to heal if he didn't die. Uh, kind of bad loot, but I did bring along these. We don't need... Oh wow, look at that. We know we don't need shovels, so shovels gone. We probably don't need... I'll just do the torches to get rid of them. And we might need a key. Might need the anti-venoms. Need the food. Probably don't need the holy waters. I don't think I know anything that takes holy waters in the well. There probably is something, I'm just missing it. The reason why I did the torch is just give me some light. I may not even want this. All right, that's why I didn't get rid of the uh, anti venoms. I usually do, but we are in the weld, and there are curios that allow you to use. Uh, ooh, now I got to make another choice. I'm gonna get rid of the jade because once again, I want to keep the keys. I want to keep the onyxes. There might be more anti venom. And this little herb, I'm not completely sure. In all honesty, I don't come to the well too too often. I don't have a large um. I don't have a large memorization of all of their curios yet, so I am going to keep... Uh, might as well do it. There might be something else associated with this. Yeah, like Nonix. I'll just pop it just for the sake of it. Uh, it's nothing too big. And then I'm going to head to the right. That last curio on the left there, I don't feel like taking the time. I would, and you should, if you want to play to the... I'll do it to show you. Well, we'll get rid of that. Add another Onyx. Stack is full. It's a trap, so I know I don't need... I don't think I'll do that. I'll do it just just for the principle of it. But me personally, I... Eh, I would just do it just to get out of the dungeon. But I guess I do need money. And if this gives me like another 20... Not 20 crests, but if this gives me like another... Even like three deeds, that would be perfect. Because I do need deeds again. If it gives me maybe two portraits. I haven't really gotten any portraits. We're currently rocking uh, Bust, Deeds, and uh, Crest, so I'd really like some portraits, so that'd be pretty cool. Uh, even if it gets me another Emerald or two, I guess all of it's worth it. Oh, it is, it is Box. And uh, there there are Heirlooms. Six Crests, ah, uh, six Crests, yeah. Six Crests, pretty good. Surprisingly, I didn't get a food check, so I'm just gonna eat it up. Doesn't do anything, but... Oh, I could've added it anyways. Okay, so I could've sold that food back for like next to nothing, but whatever. So that's a pretty good run, actually. That's about 16,000 gold, not too long. 30 crests, excellent steal away. Oh, we, we did the deeds one, so 13 deeds. I thought I did portraits. Oh, I might have misclicked. I might have accidentally went back. That's okay. I did get one disease and two... Ooh, and... Oh, two... I got two diseases and two negative quirks. I'm going to call that unlucky because I actually got out decently stress-free, did I not? Yeah, I got out pretty freaking stress-free. Three, four, two, three. And I walk out two negative quirks and two diseases. That's how it crumbles sometimes. Very quickly and uh, not nicely. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of it. It's only a thousand gold. I, I just... If my advice to someone who would just pick up the game, I probably wouldn't get rid of Fledgelant because it's kind of a waste of money. Who is this? Hag? Hag, 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 hag. Oh my gosh, I might... Do I want to do a boss? No, I'm sorry. I don't mean to... T 
tease you guys with that, but... Because I want to use both uh, Highwaymen, I really should get Dismiss uh, lower on stress. I'm thinking I'll open up next video with a with a Hag. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, I'll open up next video with a Hag. Alright. We'll do another short... Yo, these dungeon options have been terrible. That's all I'm going to say. These have been freaking terrible. Alright, Vestal. Yeah, they're, they're hardcore forcing me to finally do Veteran because they keep giving me a long short. I want to do like a medium and get uh, I just I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, I want to do a medium and get these guys up to level 3 while saving these three, yeah, these three, well, and the Abomination down here to level uh, 3. It's just not cooperating very nicely with me. What I do need to check out is the stagecoach, actually. See uh, if, yeah, the shield breaker, so... No, I need a jester. But I will take a level 1 shield breaker, actually. Yeah, because my party's gonna be Fledulent. Uh, you. I could take in a Highwayman. I'll see that, but I do need a Jester, absolutely. Um, I guess we're doing this, right? Because that's a long for that, for a pig, and whatever. Okay, well, we're, we're doing this. Once again, I need to buy more skills. Because, you know, oh man, he has got a lot of stuff I actually want to get rid of, so we're not going to bring him along. Do I have another jester? I do. And he has not terrible ones, so that's okay. I uh, don't know if I want to bring Corbett back in. We'll bring him on the Houndmasters again. Um, blood and Guts, that's going to be a fun party, okay. I am just getting their damage items up. We're not going to need it on the Vestal. I'll actually do that. Then we'll get the stun and the heals. We'll get Iron Swan and Barbaric Yop, actually. Uh, we'll get... He has that. And we'll get Harvest and these two. Once again, hurting pretty bad on money. Every dungeon, and I don't, I don't like the Dark Tambourine. I'm sorry to who, everyone who does. I just personally don't rock it. Um, Blood and Guts. This will be a fun composition. Going into the uh, Weld Short here. Um, what, yeah, well, okay. Well, what trinkets could I add? Right now, I'm really not in the realm of a lot of stuff. I've been selling a lot of my trinkets for gold because I've, I've been trying to essentially accelerate my, what I want to call it, um. Ooh, words, 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 words. I guess my growth in my town and my characters. I'm really, I'm really just if I bust on one dungeon, it's pretty much game over because I will have almost no money to go back on, and uh, that's pretty bad. It's definitely playing risky, but I trust my skills and abilities to do that. Therefore, I don't think it's a terrible idea for me, but RNG can happen, and you can just... Oh, you were going to be my... I know why I have these skills on. He was my Drown Crew individual. That's why he's got all that weird stuff on, if you're wondering that. I didn't check. I figured he'd be normal, but he's not. Does that really ruin anything? Nah, not really. He just won't be able to attack this fight, but... Battle ballots are more than plenty to get more speed in this uh, cultist enchantress here, and we should be able to probably kill her before she gets two stressful incantations out. She'll definitely get one, but I don't think she'll get two. If I'm really lucky, she won't even get one off. But I don't think I'm going to be able to, because I don't have if it bleeds. Yep, there it is. She's definitely dead next time. She actually Eldritch Push, which is fine if she moves everyone. Okay. Because I could actually finale him. It wouldn't really matter. And we're going to stun him because I can't kill him in one shot. And I don't feel like having... Oh, voice. And I don't feel like having him do anything. We'll stun kill her. And now we can full party fire here. Once again, we'll just battle ballad. Uh, I guess it doesn't do anything. So I guess we'll do inspiring tune to reduce that stress. 
And then we'll kind of head up here, head over, then boom, boom. No, we'll done, we'll be done. He may not die still. Uh, nope. He, yeah, he's still alive. And now he's not. Okay. The reason why I called that early was because I had so much accuracy from the Jester. I figured I wasn't going to miss. And the reason why I didn't kill the Torch there yet is I need to see how many of these are going to be battle rooms here. If I get another fortunate scout and I see this isn't a battle room and this isn't a battle room, I'll probably kill the torch on every other fight here. Um, okay, so yeah, around here I'll probably start killing the torches. I'm going to sneak out, grab that curio, and head back in right away. I'm telling you what, I'm actually going to give myself more food just for fun. Um, more food's always nice. Madman, he's gonna, and he gets to go, okay. And I didn't switch out my skills, so I'm a... I would like to call myself certain words right now, but I won't. Um, trying to move too quickly, and I'm distracted, but that is no excuse for not putting on abilities that will actually be good, and has cost me a lot of stress now. I was probably gonna battle battle it anyways, I don't know if Harvest is exactly good here. And I'm gonna, oh, it's 89%, give me a break game, 89 at least I hit the 79. I actually don't mind her stressful incantation. I'm going to tell you why. I mean, I don't like it, but I would prefer it over the Madman. Because the Madman is going to do AoE stress. And, ah, ow. He's going to get freaking death. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I seeing a death door. I, I don't. He's not going to die, but, you know. You got to watch. You got to watch out for that stuff. Uh. Yeah, I was just debating because she's gonna get to go again. I need to increase his torch level. We're actually gonna double stun. I don't need that damage coming out, and we're gonna pump a heal into him, and she will die next turn. Therefore, I'm gonna let her have one more turn of whatever. It was an eldritch push, which is nice, which means it probably wasn't gonna do too much. But what I really needed was another round of that mark to go away, and these guys not to do anything. Because like I said, she's dead. So once again, we're just an inspiring tune. We're just going to take off the stress. And this is where a little bit of an issue is going to come into play. Because I actually don't have a, an incredible amount of damage. The critical is nice, but each guy is going to take about two turns to kill. And I'm actually going to try to fo- Really? What is that? 90, 89%? Two 89%s are missing? That would have killed him if it would have hit too. So... He's probably gonna... Okay, that's a good dodge, because he could have actually died. Because they're gonna do about 12 damage. Okay, 9. So he would have been death stored. Uh, I still need... What I'm gonna actually do here is Hound's Harry. Hope that bleeds. There we go. Because I didn't want to do another attack into him directly. I wanted to start softening him up. And... I'm not gonna stun him, because I'm hoping Barbaric Yop will do that. Yeah, Barbaric Yop. I think that's my last one. I got one more. Yeah, so he dies. We're really trying to recover that health. I have food outside of combat, so really I just need to get out of this combat without him getting death stored. That's why I am largely healing him. And also because, you know, I don't want anyone to actually get death stored. There's other ramifications for that, such as the negative debuff throughout the rest of the dungeon. And we'll see. He doesn't have the mark anymore, which is pretty good, but I am going to give him one more heal before because like on the weird off chance he gets critical and not from a healing ability but that's nice and then he gets blighted you know it it could kill him out straight he got that blight if he would have gotten critical he might die because he might go before my uh, uh my vestal so it was very important i heal him based on the potential chance of a critical see he would have died right there dead could be out of houndmaster i'm not but i could have so it's very important. Oh, nice Aria box. I'm getting lucky with those boxes. Um, I don't know, man. I'm getting really lucky with those boxes. I think I picked up one in the last video too, but you guys didn't see that because it didn't record. Imagine that. I'm looking right now at my recording. It says I'm recording. I see it moving and stuff, but it better, better actually do it, because I can't do that again. Don't got enough time to record, but not. Uh, I am going to put on the Aria box. It's a really good trinket. I'm just kind of walking towards the door there. I feel like the Houndmaster has been the uh, the picked on character. So I'm going to decide to 
use it on him. Nice chest here. We can uh, pop a key in that. Not much we can do about that Fusilier. I am actually going to dog bone. I'm debating if I still want to kill the torch. I'm trying to switch to my map. If I kill the torch for... I got set 5 left. It'd be pretty gutsy. I'll think about it. It really depends on how bad I get hurt here in all honesty. Like, if I just get absolutely trashed in this fight, like, if I get, like, critical and then the Fusilier survives about, eh, three turns, I think I'll have to just keep the torch up. Because I'll need to take fights with decent health, so I don't really want to take a lot of lower light fights if I'm at a decent stress level and also not the greatest on health. We are just going to keep Hound's uh, Harrying just to add some more. So when he does come out, he's pretty much a Hound's Harry away, actually. Uh, I'm going to keep Battle Battling, make sure we always go first, and also try to get this Critical Chance up. He will die if he gets critical. Okay, close enough. Pretty much Hound's Harry will mop up this fight next round. I am going to kill off the Cutthroat because he can do a lot of additional damage, and all I really want is the Fusilier and the other guy alive. I don't want too, too many other people in a nice dodge. So this fight's practically over. I shouldn't miss with Hound's Harry. Only one bleed, a couple of stress, not terrible. This, is, this fight's gone pretty well. The veteran dungeons have been very kind to me. I know they've been short. I'm just going to do that to get rid of it. Um, there's not too many banished curios in the weld. And also, I just don't feel like losing more health. It, it's a personal preference. It's really not needed. And I'm still debating whether or not I want to I want to kill this torch or not. I think I'm going to keep it. I have a feeling there's going to be two rooms left. I think there's going to be at least... Nah, screw it. Oops. There we go. The reason why I'm doing that is because I actually want to get the maximum from this chest. So if it was just a fight, I'd say no. But because there's a chest behind it, yes. So that's my rationale. I know I was back and forth on that all over the place but I think finally and I got a torch in here which is really nice so that kind of helps reinforce uh, my decision um, I can't remember if it won't scout until I get on my menu or not oh there's another protection stone uh, we can get rid of that well not rid of it but put it on someone I want to keep the key and I want to keep the bandages, but I don't think I need to keep the holy water, so we're going to use the holy waters. Alright. The reason why I increased the torch before I left the room, I didn't know if, yep, I say if there's going to be another direct fight. And, uh, I am going to kill off the gladiator. I know technically he's the stress damage dealer and stuff, and I still haven't fixed that ability. Huh. What the freaking heck am I doing? to put that so nicely for myself. There's a critical. Alright, after this fight, I am going to take off solo and uh, finale. Or at least at least solo. Maybe I'll keep finale on in case someone gets uh, pushed. But I am going to take off solo. I'm going to say it here right now. It's going to happen. Because right now, having like Slice Off or Harvest would be really beneficial, but this might be a battle room, so actually just using Battle Ballad might force me into a good decision, who really knows. Can I kill this guy before the next round? I don't... I don't know. Well, without Critical, I do know. It should be a definite yes. The Houndmaster should probably be able to kill him. I'm going to Battle Ballad one more time, just to get ready for this room, because we'll actually have a large transference of uh, Battle Ballad buffs. Even if he doesn't bleed, he's dead. Yep, he still has two. We're going to heal everyone up. We're not going to kill the Torch, since we didn't fight as many people. Because definitely one of these rooms is going to be a, a fight. So therefore, we definitely know that we need to keep the Torch up just a little bit. Abomination Trinket, I think we can get rid of a bandage, I think. Feel safe doing that. Here we go. Oh, we got our giant. Oh, boy. Oh, I quit. I'm so... Oh, I didn't do it. I got, like, an intention span of a goldfish, I swear. 
I don't actually know how I play this game well sometimes. I really don't. Like, all I had to do was take off the bloody freaking ability. That's all I had to do. We'll just be like, hey, go in, change it out, and then all you did was stare at if I want to get rid of a bandage or not for a trinket. Holy crap, what a... What a sidetracked nightmare. Ooh. Well. Oh. I was about to say, maybe due to uh, incompetency, that was actually the best thing I could do, but they didn't even shuffle. Because I was thinking, you know what? I'll finale. It'll look like I was psychic, and I put now. No. You know, that's probably one of my weakest parts of my game. And it's something I should work on is like. When I don't have something on that I should, I almost always, like, and what I mean by that is, like, party order and skills, I seem to just gap between each and, like, every other fight for some reason. I've noticed that a lot about myself, and if you've watched me long enough, you'll probably kind of reminisce with that, that for some reason, I just don't remember to put those skills on where to unshuffle my party. And sometimes it doesn't matter because you got like a really good party that can shuffle and they don't care. That's fine. But sometimes I even have parties that like depend on like an initial composition setup. Like I need to like lunge into like a repose and then a holy lance. I just won't change it back. And that's a big issue. So I, that is something I do need to work on and I recognize that. Something to keep in the bank here. I am not going to turn the torch off, and the reason why I'm not going to turn the torch off is, is this guy is just clubbing me. If there's one more fight after this, man, I don't... The reason why I'm healing her is I'm hoping he tree, smack, uh, tree branch smackdowns this person. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, these guys are tough. I just wanted to get some health up because I still have a lot of food left. I can split the food up. Uh, Two and two, which will be just a little bit of HP. So, boom, 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 boom. I can't select them right now. Those children are screaming really loud outside, and I realize I have eight food down there. There we go. Uh, okay, that was the end of the dungeon. Is this take a key? No, this takes a shovel. What am I doing? It doesn't take a shovel. Whoops! I just blew through two on the inside. Okay, and good. All right, good. And guess what, guys? Here we go. Here we go. Here, Boom. Got it. GG. Totally in time for the dungeon. Another disease? I need to stop eating diseases. This is ridiculous. That's three within two dungeons. It's getting expensive. And I even have, I think, the disease place almost maxed out. Oh, I'm two away. Does that decrease the cost? No. No. Yeah. That decreased the cost out and do that because apparently the weld is the only place I want to go to anymore, says Darkest Dungeon. So what this is going to be is me struggling to keep making ends meet in the terms of money to uh, keep buying everything I need. Though the trinkets are helping a lot and it's a short and then guess what? It's in the weld! Alright guys, we're gonna, next time we're gonna do a short dungeon to get a couple of these guys to level. And that's not gonna do it, because it's too resolved. Oh, holy crap. This is, this is a nightmare. Two apprentice antiquariums. You have to be kidding me. Two. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Stick around for another video. Video's coming up this week. I am gonna make a scouting video. And I am communicating with my one friend of getting music for the room statistics video. Because that's going to be a decent amount of like overlay. And it's not going to be actual gameplay. So instead of having like kind of silence for random gameplay. I'm trying a new thing where we get some background noise. Should be really good. Thanks for everyone sticking around. As always please uh, like, comment, subscribe below. If you do like this channel and you want to support it. There's always Patreon, Subscribe Star in the description of every video for the past couple of months. Thank you so much.